says, I have a client with Microsoft 365. It used to be with Sherweb, Sherweb Canada as a reseller. The address of the client's M365 had to be in the US even though they were in Australia. Something to do with Sherweb not able to resell in Australia. All right. Microsoft first line said, we cannot change the address from US to AU. Because of this, we cannot then add their tenant to Pax 8 Australia. So it's another, it's a, a marketplace. Anyone have a solution to this? No. Can we get a new tenant and migrate it? Because mm -hmm. well, it's not really a tenant issue. It's it's a domain issue. Okay, so what okay. he's talking about is, is the client with M365, I'm assuming he doesn't call this out, um, but he's saying change the address from US to AU, I have to assume he's talking about email, okay? Mm. Um, and you it, that's a whole change in domain. So Microsoft can't change domains, number one, um, because they're not a domain registrar. Uh, you'd actually have to go to a registrar for AU and then register it in the US. Mm -hmm. um, but even if, even if, you know, it isn't about email, uh, Microsoft can't do that because it's, it's a legal issue. Um, they can't cross country boundaries. They can't, they, you know, there's a separate, that, why do you think they have data centers that are that are isolated in different regions for Azure? It's because, you know, GDPR and compliance and governance and everything else between all these countries. So I, I personally think it's one of two issues. Number one, I bet any money it's because, you know, they just have to register their domain in the U.S. Um, and it's registered in Australia, and that's a domain registrar issue. Or number two, uh, Microsoft can't do it legally. They're 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 talking, you know, apples and oranges. They're they're not talking, you know, the same thing. And then there was silence. Gun. Nobody Gun. wants to touch the legal issues. <laughs> nope. <laughs> mm -mm. That's right. It's like Microsoft licensing. Nobody wants to touch licensing. I, I like know. licensing. I'll talk I'll licensing all day long. All day long. Let's not talk licensing. Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this, I, you know, I mean, my my first thought too is that it's like, de depending on who you bought it for, I, again, you're, I think you're spot on. It's the legal issue there. If Microsoft says, no, we can't do it, then even if it's first yeah. line that says we can't do it, I'm I'm guessing it's because they have a they have a reference card that says somebody wants to move a domain from this country to this country. Uh, no, uh, and data <laughs> sovereignty is likely the issue. Yeah. Uh. So I think I'm going to go to a random community and type in a question of how I can get around this. Why would you want to get around it? That's my question. <laughs> <laughs> That's my point. Yeah. Why? There has to be a way. <laughs> Why are there one not always? Around it? Well, let's let's be honest. Depending on who you talk to in this world, sometimes you feel like you're not getting the whole story. Maybe they're making. Maybe they're checking for a second opinion. Yep. Yep. And that's all I'll say about that. No one ever asked for a second opinion based off stuff we talk about. So <laughs> that's <good for> it. <laughs> because it'll depend. It depend. Yeah. Or it'll be out of date in approximately uh 30 seconds. <laughs> Click. Thank you.